Rudy, when you, when you look back at just how the season progressed and, and the, how you guys bounced back after being 19 and 28 in January, what did you really learn about this team going through that through through that comeback? Um, it's not that I learned because I, I feel like I always knew, you know, that we we had that mentality, you know, but just the competitiveness, you know, the the will to not just let down, you know, when things get hard, but actually to do the opposite, you know, to to from everyone, you know, give him not 100 percent but 200 percent, and uh, you know, trusting each other and you know, just just keep believing. Rudy, it seemed like you got a lot more focus after you had the, the second knee injury, man. Did kind of talk about the switch between, you know, how you started the season and after you got, you know, came back from that second injury, working yourself back into the team. You know, what changed for you at that point? Um, my focus was the same. I was focused from the from the day the season started. Uh, when I went down the first time, you know, um, I tried to come back. You know, I was – it was frustrating. I tried to come back pretty fast and then uh, – Went down again, you know. So that time, I really, uh, I really wanted to come back ready and you know come back stronger, and uh, and I did. You know, I, I was even more, you know, I would say careful with what I was doing, especially you know strength, strength coach, coaching, uh, everything I was doing. I was very careful, and uh, you know, uh, I never take it for granted, but. Uh, when you have two two knee two knee injuries like that, you you get a little paranoid a little bit. First of all, have you seen Favor's shirt today? Yeah. What'd you think? It's a good looking kid on the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, how how would you describe your relationship with with Donovan and how that's evolved over the course of the season? Uh, it's 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 easy when you, you when you have a guy that you know, wants to win and, you know, wants to be great, you know, just uh, listening to, to everything people have to say, even if he doesn't always agree, you know, so it's, it's fun, it's fun and uh, it's exciting, you know, to, to be part of a, I mean, of a, of a such special group. Rudy, do you feel like you're healthy right now going into the off season, or, or where would you coming back from those knee injuries? Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm healthy, you know, definitely way better than I was last year at the same point. Um, I can start, you know, I mean, after, after I take a, a little break, I can start working and right from the beginning without having to do any rehab and, you know, without having to take care of any injuries. So it's, uh, it's good. Rudy, you and the team obviously hold yourself to very high standards. You in particular, uh, you can dominate against most teams. Perhaps you didn't to the usual degree against Houston, or there are one or two teams maybe in the league that can give you trouble. What did that, what did that kind of show you about where what you need to do moving forward so that you can you know have that chance against all thirty teams? Uh, I think it just shows that we we get a lot of loop, we get a lot of room to grow individually and as a team. Uh, Houston uh, is a very special team. They got some very special players, and they give uh, matchup problems to everyone. You know, I think uh, I think we they scored less points against us than they were scoring against anyone. You know, this year, so it shows that we we are doing something right. You know, but it also shows that we still are uh, not there yet. So just you know, just keep working. You know, keep getting better. I think. Uh, like I said, you know, I think we we have a lot of room to grow, but at the same time, we we've done a great job and we've shown that uh, we we're going in the right direction. Rudy, individually, I know you want to be great, but to be great, you got to be really hard on yourself and identify the things you've got to do to get better. What are those things that you think you need to improve on to take your game to the next level? First of all, I think I still, you know, I've got stronger every year, but I think uh, I still need to get stronger. You know, to just to be able to dominate even more. Um, after that, you know, definitely offensively, you know, uh, I do other things to help my team winning, like setting screens, running to the rim, finishing. But I think I can be even more than that. You know, I've been improving my shot every year since I got here. Now it's time for me to be a, a real weapon and uh, 
to be uh, able to give them even more trouble when I have the ball in my hands. Additional questions? Okay. Thank you, Rudy. Appreciate it. All done. Thank you.